episode 35, Know Your Power. We're reporting live from Rockaway Beach. And we came across this building you can see right there. It says two things on the top. One is queer trans power. And the other one says know your power. So that is what is inspiring this vlog right here. Knowing your power. A big form and reason we are facing oppression is because we act unaware of our own power and our own greatness. Especially people of color, communities of color, oppressed people. And the further you are in the oppression, the more that there is energy that removes us from knowing our innate divine birthright power that is within all of us. A big work that I've been doing, not only this year, but just this, these moments is owning my own greatness and power to be like, shit, my perspective and me being me fully is enough. That's enough. And to know that power is something that no one could take away from me but myself. Regardless of what situations I face, regardless of the own torture chambers that happen in my mind, <laughs> I still know my power. I'm aware of my power and I can act on my power. And this is something that I have to constantly reinforce because if you are somebody who grew up in society, <laughs> unless you were living off the grid, and especially society that is rooted in white supremacy and institutionalization, and you are a person of color, most likely you have been told that you ain't shit in some way or form by the school system, by that, and we have picked up those habits. And until we own our own power and own our own greatness and rise up into the level of knowing our power, acting on our power, and recognizing our power, using our power, we're gonna be powerless. And that does not depend on anyone else except yourself, you know? That does not depend on anything except you. That is something that you and yourself have to be accountable for. No one can give you your power. Like, I'm not gonna front, man. I'm gonna say this out here. This is hard for me to say, but people come up to me, they give me compliments all the time, and it's hard for me. I can take constructive criticism easier than I can take a compliment. And that comes from being conditioned not to recognize my power. So this topic is so near and dear to me. I am reinforcing my greatness, and we gotta feel great about ourselves and powerful when the lights go out. It's easy for me when I'm on stage or performing or doing something artistic or helping out with the community, but when I have to go back to my own thoughts and own things in my own mind, it becomes a lot more difficult. So what are some things we could do to recognize our power? I would say is reinforcement. Reinforcing the innate power that you have and reinforcing everything that you know from your own life experience and your own well-being in your own form of just what you're doing and what you're not doing. So we're out of here. I want you to hit us up in the comments and let us know what makes you feel powerful. What empowers you? How do you go back to your power? You know, how do you create ownership of it? I'll leave with a couple things that I do is I recognize how long I've been putting time into certain things. So that's what gives me a real confidence, you know? I'm like, I know I've been putting a lot into my art for a lot of years. I know that I wake up every day and I do my best to help people. So knowing that gives me the ability to recognize my greatness. And I have to talk to myself out loud. I have to give affirmations. Those are things that I do. And I have to just do what I love and love what I do at all moments and not worry about any validation from anyone else because the power is lying within you, lies within all of us. So why not show love, episode 35. Find your power every single minute, second, hour. Uh, scoop.